Have you ever been there? You're on holiday and you decide to go for a hike, but you didn't really prepare for it. And of course, who do you come across on the trail? A German. Wow, serious shoes. Check out that practical beige rucksack. This is a classic all-weather jacket. What's that? Special trousers that zip off at the knee? Oh boy. Please don't, ugh. There they are, the walking sticks. The Germans love to walk. Of course, there's walking and there's walking. The Sonntagsspaziergang, or Sunday stroll, has long been an established feature in the lives of many German families. But a step up from this is Wandern, or hiking. The difference isn't necessarily about gradient or strenuousness. It's that Wandern involves planning. A route, a schedule, and equipment. Hiking is the most popular outdoor activity in Germany. Whether it's a longer journey with stopovers in hiking huts, or a quick day trip at the weekend. Young and old, in any season, they just love it. Es macht einfach Freude. Also ich finde halt irgendwie mal das Herz geht einem so auf, wenn man wandern geht. Ich bin normalerweise viel drin und jetzt ist man mal schön draußen in der Natur. Das ist richtig schön zum Entspannen und gleichzeitig zum Fit werden. Ich glaube, dass Deutschland vor allem das richtige Klima hat zum Wandern. Also die besten Ideen bekomme ich beim Wandern, weil es so viel Tradition hat, glaube ich. Ne? Deutschland ist so ein Wanderland. Man kann sich vollkommen entspannen, kann den Alltag hinter sich lassen und trifft auch noch vielleicht nette andere Leute rundum gut. So, have the Germans been roaming the hills since time immemorial? Not quite. Back in the day, hiking was for religious pilgrims, tradesmen, scholars and vagabonds. The German mountains and forests were seen as uninviting, dangerous even. It wasn't until the 1800s that German nature got itself some good publicity, courtesy of the Romantics. Poets and painters joined forces to big up the great outdoors. People started to realise they could walk for pleasure. The arrival of the railway meant that even city dwellers had easy access to the countryside. And then the Germans did what the Germans do best. They got organised. They formed hiking associations, marked out paths, and even set up the first ever youth hostels. Sadly, even the wholesome pursuit of hiking couldn't escape the shadow of National Socialism. The Nazis saw hiking as an elitist, selfish hobby, and they funneled youth hiking members into the Hitler Youth. But in the post-war years, a renewed connection to nature became part of the healing process for many Germans. Today, hiking's more popular than ever, and it's big business. The Germans spend billions of euros every year on hiking trips and fancy equipment. There's certainly plenty to keep them occupied in Germany. Some 300,000 kilometers of signposted hiking routes along forest trails, alpine tracks, wine valleys and coastal paths. But the Germans are no longer just hiking at home. One in four will indulge their hiking habit while holidaying abroad as well. Wherever they are, there's another vital element to a German hike. It's so important, it's got its own verb. Einkehren, or stopping off for a refreshment along the way. Maybe a schnitzel, some cake, or just a cold beer to keep your energy up for the last leg.